Hi guys, so I'm back with another video and today's topic is just going to be um, products that I regret buying. And just a little side note before I start, um, these are strictly my opinions and yeah, that's it. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with two concealers. The first one is Lemonade by Benefit. And this says it's a color correcting eyelid primer. Well, I've used it as a concealer, so maybe that's my problem. But anyway, it's like a yellow, it's supposed to eat, like cancel out the dark circles that you get under your eyes. Now, you can see I hit pan on here. So I have been using it, um, and I just never really tried a lot of products. I, you know, this was kind of like my first thing, my first like under eye corrector thing. So I just have a problem with it because it is really kind of stiff. I feel like you have to warm this up in order for it to be effective because when I put this on my eye, I am like tugging and pulling and you know, like it's not smooth where I can go like this. I'm like, like you're not supposed to pull that area. It's super sensitive and yeah, I'm just not crazy about it. I do like the color though. I think the color does do its job. Next is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages Ageless Eye Corrector. And it looks like kind of swirled. You probably can't see it. But um, when I first got this, I was like, yeah, this is awesome. It's so smooth. It's so easy to apply. But it creases. So, boo. I can't be having creasing. Like, especially around my eyes when I'm going to apply mascara and everything. Like, I don't, I can't have a product that creases. All right. So, moving on to mascara. This is the Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. And first of all, the smell is gross. You know, I don't like normally sniff my mascaras, but when you're putting on your eye and you smell that it's funky, that's just not, ugh, meh. So the brush looks like that. I don't know if you can see it. So it's got really, really short rubber bristles. And then this wand right here is super thick. Now, when I apply this, it gets all over my eye. I like to try to get down to the root so I can like blacken it out to build volume. This just gets all over my face and I don't like the smell. So I don't like this. Wish I did not buy this. Um, next is, I have two different lip products. Um, first is the Revlon Lip Butter. Now let me just say before everybody freaks out because I know people love these. I don't hate this. I actually really like the Red Velvet one. This is the Berry Smoothie. I've tried, I tried all of them on, not all of them on, but like I swatched them and I think you're not supposed to do that in drugstore, so boo me. Don't buy ones that are open, guys. Um, but this is just like a rosy color and, okay, so that's one swatch. Now, if I keep going, it's, it's better, right? Yeah, so I'm not, I just feel like this is kind of like a tinted lip balm. It's not super rich and buttery. I have it on. It's not, I mean, it's moisturizing, but it's not like super moisturizing. But I just like, I don't know. I, if it wasn't such a hype of this, I would not have like gone out and rushed to get it. But I just like, I'm kind of disappointed. It's not everything I wanted. And I really, like I said, the only one I'm crazy about is the red velvet. So this very smoothie flavor, color, eh, mediocre at best. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. And I like matte lips. Not always, but I do like matte lips. I like matte everything, pretty much. Um, but this... Okay, so the texture is like a mousse. Not so much a cream, but a mousse. So, you put it on and it looks pretty. The color is awesome. This is the color Istanbul, but it dries really quickly. You need a gloss with this. And I thought it was going to be like a lipstick in a lip gloss packaging, like a lip gloss lipstick, but it's not. It's just like, it does not do what I want. It like cracks and it dries and it's, it's just not a one-stop shop, like a moisturizing, pigmented lip gloss like I thought it was going to be. 
It says it's not a lipstick, nor is it a gloss. It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. It's lipstick cream that goes on silky but looks soft matte. And it does do that. But I don't like what it looks like after it's dried for two minutes. And I also bought that because I, like, I was like, oh my god, these are going to be so amazing. When I put them on in the store in Ulta, I was like, oh, like, really love them. Disappointed. This is also the Milan color. I'll swatch it if you want. This is like a more fuchsia color. And then I got Tokyo. And this is like very pinky, like bright. Yeah, bright color. So I'm just disappointed in this as well. This color as well. No color, I don't think, would actually do the trick. I think it's the consistency, consistency and the texture of the gloss itself. Um, and my last product to review is the NYC Color Smooth and Natural Matte Powder Foundation. Now, I thought this was going to be like mineralized skin finish by MAC, but, I mean, some things in MAC you just cannot beat. So it looks like that. This is in the color Metro Tan. Now I swatch it. Looks great. But when I put it on, it's like, mm, you're not going to be able to see it. It's like instantly chalky, like instantly chalky, instantly powdery. I'm just really disappointed in this. It like makes, it makes me look like a ghost. Like someone took my picture with this on, it would be like ghost face and it's just super powdery, not liking it. And I forgot, there is one more product. It is the Eyes Lips Face Ultimate Eyeshadow Pal Palette. Blah. So I got this from Target. It's part of their holiday collection gift sets, I guess. Now, I was like, oh my god, like, amazing. I thought it was going to be maybe dupes for the Coastal Scents palette, which I've seen everywhere on YouTube. Love them. I don't own one yet, but hopefully I will um, in the, some, sometime in the near future. So I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much variety here. Whatever. I swatched some in the store. And no doubt, like this pink color, when I swatch it, look how pretty that is. Okay, downside. When I use a brush to put these on, like they're super powdery. The pigment does not transfer to your eye. I don't know why it shows up on my finger, but does not show on my eye. I've used eyeshadow bases, primers, everything to make these colors pop, and they just do not, especially the neutrals. So, I mean, it was like $15, I think, at Target. I just, I mean, if you're new to makeup and just want to try experiment, experimenting with different colors, you know, maybe this is for you, but I'm just underwhelmed. And, you know, I really like e.l.f. products. They're very affordable. You know, usually they're at, on, ugh at Target or you can buy them online, but this palette just was not everything that I had hoped it would be. So if you guys have any, like these products that I mentioned, if they work for you, tell me how they work for you, what you feel about them, please let me know because I mean, maybe I just need to keep exploring them and making them work. Cause sometimes products I buy at first, don't really like it, even though I have had these products for quite a bit. So um, please comment and let me know what you guys think about this um and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos so thanks for watching guys bye